Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here in Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... My stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krat. Me talking to the Arls. No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Last night was you no respect for our customs. Not the high rolls, man. Wait! Only one chosen by the gods could accomplish such a Finally, a sorceress brought My mind clear, my conscience clear. Yomar, can you? Seal shit! Take a look! Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Filled Carls, who are they? Ah, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf! <laughs> Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Nah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you hit good. Hard. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well.
Burna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hard-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hard-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word, here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. That's not Yalmar. Let's go.
Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine. Things to consider. We must find out how this came to be. Elsewise, we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame of our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the trailer's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. The gates were shut! So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. Does the gods do it? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. 
Stingrim, maybe? Warriors and battle frenzy transformed into wild beasts? Berserkers? But how'd they come to be here? All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Audric. Shit, no more than a kid. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Sea swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, 
Then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Saib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Erdelrick tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udelrek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, needs gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakam and spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. <laughs> right behind you. That's a relief. <laughs> this mead's clean. Nothing here either. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another egg behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah, bygone days. Place of power. Should draw from it. on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I've no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. through the mead. Trail break 
breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look! It's him! Grab a horse. We'll chase him down. Move it! Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him... You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, boy, that! Come on, Roach. Started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolder. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Bruna Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Werner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. 
but perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Sarus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! He stands silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crip. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Congratulations. 
traditions. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellica planning? <sighs> to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. You all right? So-so. Any way you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. A bit, I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yalmar. Can we talk? Yen and I went to Hindersfjell. Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. I needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. Druids think of Skellica's new ruler. On great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellica. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven clans in Skellica. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalmar. Thinks first, then acts. With Krach as her advisor, she has every chance to be a good queen. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skellige Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reignited. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the Druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things. Not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emius chose a poor time to read it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I have the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. Farewell. Wow. Wonderful. Rigor Mortis suggests poison. Hang on. Liver's gone. Chewed out. Necrophages? Something heavy was dragged through here. Bodies? Ugh. Ghoul's nest. No uniform, no boots. Clearly not an elf guardian soldier. Someone from the village nearby? No uniform, no boots. Clearly not an elf guardian soldier. Someone from the village nearby? Who are you? Why do you sniff around here? Looking for work. 
Wait, wait. Two swords, eyes like slits. You are a witcher, is that so? Geralt of Rivia. I have not heard of it. But you will find work here, this I know. You look tired, Quartermaster. Been stationed here long? Too long. But the day will come when the Emperor's banner will fly first over Novigrad, then over Tretagor. We will all go home. You happen to lose a unit recently? One is missing, yes. Did you find my notice? No. Found their bodies. Female wyvern killed them. They wandered into her hunting ground. A wyvern? Blue the pissed. Discovered something else. You didn't send those boys out to scout. That was a death squad. Let some Redanian prisoners out there. Executed them. War is like this. Who loses dies. Those men haven't been forgotten. Someone will come asking about them. In Nilfgaard, any soldier who is taken prisoner is as if dead. Those prisoners were from Redania. Soon to be an imperial province. Before Seovin, I wager, the great sun will fly upon banners above Redania's capital. I don't want your coin. Or dead men buried in the woods. You are offended? They died honorably. Soldiers who let themselves be captured can have you. Here in Velen, hunger is our greatest foe. What was I to feed those prisoners, eh? Grass and mud? It was an act of mercy. You're a murderer, plain and simple. I am an Imperial Quartermaster. And we are done, Witcher. Hey, you! Halt! Geralt of Rivia, correct? You were in White Orchard recently. Near Vizima. Mm-hmm. Charming village, if you don't mind rotting corpses. There'd have been one more if not for you. Lena. She survived, thanks to your potion. Nice to see a Nilfgaardian soldier so concerned about the fate of some simple Nordling. But kind of surprising, too. That night, when the Griffin attacked her, she was on her way to meet me. In the woods, near the garrison. Lousy spot for a romantic encounter. If the Griffin hadn't gotten her, something else would have. I know. But I could only ever get away between watches. Those woods, they were close. Listen, Lena, she has not fully recovered. I took her with me when I was transferred. Thought she might get better. But no. She says nothing. Recognizes no one. Sleeps most of the day. I warned Tamira. Witcher potions have powerful, usually permanent side effects. Can't do anything to help now. Maybe a mage could. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for not letting her die with dignity. Trust me. Choice I had to make was harder. I have come from far away. I... to seek my son. He served in the Nazari cavalry. I must find him. I simply must. I'm not one of your soldiers. This is good. Our army refused to help. Yet help is what I need. So much so, I will ask a rock troll if required. Interesting train of thought, ma'am. His brothers in arms tell you anything? Some will not speak at all. Others lie. This quartermaster, for instance. He told me Herodoberth, my son, left the camp to scout and did not return. Why is that unlikely? He serves in the light cavalry. Nazari Brigade. My son was no scout. I require someone's help to find Herodoberth. Or his body. Coin is no object. What's your son look like? Unlike others, easily distinguished. In all Nilfgaard's army, I do not think there was another with his mane. The color of fire. A red-haired Nilfgaardian? His father hailed from Magturga. 
folk have light complexions there. My son inherited this trait and others from his father. May I count on your help? Do my best to help you. You will not regret it. There is nothing I would not do for her road of earth. Remember this. I'll ask around, see if I can learn something. My servant strove to do the same. He drank with the soldiery in the mess, but met no one from my son's company. It is as if it has ceased to exist. You must speak to the quartermaster. He is dismissive of me, but he will be more candid with you. I can feel it. A mother feels these things. Guess we'll see. Non-humans. Greetings, quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? Ran into a woman, an elf guardian, who's looking for her son. I knew this one was stubborn. I did not know she would hire a witcher. Let's say a mother's tears moved me. What if all Nilfgaard's mothers came to find their sons? Can you imagine? Only met one and promised to help her. I'm to reveal our troop movements to some Nordling. Maybe a coin pouch will untie your tongue. You seek to bribe an Imperial officer. Exactly. But just because I want to help an Imperial soldier's mother. Take the coin and tell me what you know. Red-haired whelp, Nazari Cavalry. A short time ago, he and several of his company sought to desert. I ordered them pursued. We caught some in the swamp not far from here. Others managed to flee. The men you caught, what happened to them? We hanged them. Wartime rules. But I cannot say the red-haired boy was among them. Hmm. You're an elf guardian officer. Expected you to be more conscientious. If I had reported that any had fled, I would have had to pursue them. I've neither the time nor the resources, so I wrote that all are dead. Unlikely any survived long in the swamp. See if I can't find them. Red hair. Probably him. Need to find something else to know for sure. Letter to his mother. The least I can do is get it to her. But that's it. My son, were you able to learn anything? I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? He deserted, was caught, then hanged. Lies! Found him hanging next to others. Notice posted on the tree was clear. I do not believe you. My son was no coward. Believe what you will. Found a letter on him, addressed to you. Mother, this may well be the last time I write. In all my letters I have cried. Forgive me. I am no hero. Take no pleasure in killing Nordlings. This place is a nightmare. I have borne it until now. I can bear it no longer. Not long past, they ordered us to murder prisoners. Do you know what this means? To kill defenseless men. I must flee this place. Darling child. For You have found him for me. Your payment. Take it. <laughs> 